Experts warn that the relaxed restrictions in public transportation, among others, will result in further COVID-19 transmission. To tell us more, JC Cosico is joining us live from Mandaluyong City. JC, good afternoon. What's the latest on this? Charles, with a government easing restriction on public transportation, researchers warn that doing so may lead to a spike in COVID-19 cases. The UP Okta research team says it has observed a slight increase in the number of COVID infections since last month, when authorities decided to relax distancing rules in PUVs. UP Okta fellow professor Guido David suggests that the government, as well as private companies, should look into other options to curb the spread of the virus. There could be other solutions like uh, increasing the number of uh, buses and uh, um, maybe uh, government augmenting uh, public transportation to, to, make it, to make it happen. The health department shares the same view. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere once again reminds the public to follow strict health protocols. Hindi natin lift ng restrictions, but with that safeguard na kailangan ang mga tao will change their behavior and comply with the minimum health standards. Meanwhile, the health official says the Food and Drug Administration is constantly monitoring reports of unregistered COVID-19 vaccines in the Philippines. She is responding to reports that a Chinese vaccine has entered the Philippines without an FDA approval. A cold storage facility for the vaccines is also being prepared. The government is eyeing to equip each region with one. As for the five officials ordered suspended by the Ombudsman for the alleged delay of benefits for health workers, Verjera says they are open to any probe. So we are supporting our five officials. These officials are uh, had been with us for decades already. Nagbigay na ho ng ganong sakripisyo, commitment, and integrity-wise, uh, sila po ay mapagkakatiwalaan. So Charles, the UP Okta research team also reported that 18 areas are considered to be at high risk for COVID-19 based on the number of cases daily and the attack rate. These include Pasig, Makati, and Pasay in NCR. Now, concerned LGUs were told to ramp up their testing efforts and isolation. Back to you. Thank you. That was JC Cosico reporting live from Mandaluyong.